Good morning everybody, welcome back to Solinux Crypto, hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome back to a new video on uh, on Bitcoin. A relatively bullish video here, um, because overnight we, we got some some very bullish moves, all right? It, it already started, I mean in general, um, when we talked about Bitcoin yesterday, what I, what I told you is that I did expect a, a reaction or a pump from this level right here. Uh, between 63,500 and 64,000 and then from there... It's very much dependent on how we reacted at uh, 65,600, whether we could turn bullish again. And I'm not even sure if we are bullish right now or that we are uh, kind of consolidating, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, but, but the reaction to that level was absolutely crucial. Broke above that in the, um, uh, in, in the evening. The US really pushed us above that because Coinbase premium was also there again, I believe, uh, which basically means that uh, Coinbase spot was, was bidding Bitcoin a lot. And uh, over the course of uh, Asians, uh, the, the Asian session today, we, we've, we've been able to hold that relatively well. Um, and it seems like, I mean, if we, I talked about this yesterday on my, on my um, Twitter account, on my X account, about my uh, two potential scenarios for Bitcoin, and, and this is what it was, right? And, and I actually did think it was most likely we would see uh, lower lows first. I still think it's a possibility, but that very much depends on whether this turns into a consolidation or an uptrend, all right? So so that's, I think, the, the main thing we need to talk about. It seems most likely that we are doing the, the, the bullish scenario, of course, um, but we still st still do need to break out, all right? If you look at Bitcoin right now, you can see the EMAs right here are relatively flat. So for me, um, with this bullish breakout, I do think we have confirmed uh, that we are at least not making uh, lower lows, or at least we are not trending down. We, we could still visit the lows and, and drop down lower, but I do think in general, some sort of a consolidation or range will hold. Uh, but obviously, that's not necessarily what we want. We want a, an uptrend, all right? So for that, I would say we need to break out above 68,000. Technically, we already did that before, but really get a breakout, a sustained breakout um, with momentum. And as most of you know, last Friday was, uh, was very, very bullish. So if uh, this Friday is anything, uh, anything like, like last Friday, we, we can do that. But all right, so is it most likely that we will? If you look at Bitcoin right now, so if we look at the order flow, if we look at the momentum, um, what you can see, and I do want to zoom out a little bit more for that, is that so far, um, the open interest in, in relation to the open interest the last seven days is, is pretty normal, right? You, you can basically see that we have these, these spikes up and down. Um, but what you can see is that the CVD right now is very, very positive. So we, we not only saw short positions being closed, uh, which is already bullish, of course. Uh, but we also saw a lot of long positions being opened earlier today. Um, it was actually, I mean, if you, if you look at it, you can see when the open interest drops down, the CVD actually rallies a lot. So a lot of shorts were closed. Um, that also provided room for Bitcoin to grow. And then I do think, like I said, with the Coinbase premium, that spot was bidding as well, um, which is all great. But then at the same point of time, which I like a little bit less, is that the Bitcoin dominance is also absolutely rocketing. Um, so for me, the best case scenario for Bitcoin would be a breakout above 68,000. Am I convinced about that right now? No, I, I think it's best to assume that we are going to consolidate here so that we will respect the resistance here and that will form some sort of a, uh, if, my, uh, if everything works, and that will form some sort of a consolidation right here. That seems most likely to me. Um, but having said that, if we do uh, see Bitcoin stay at these levels or preferably even break above 68,000, um, I, I, I think that's really the, the, the main scenario need to, you need to keep an eye on to trade the markets. Because if we do break out and you see the uh, open interest rallying with a positive CVD and the Bitcoin dominance starts to drop down, hopefully some, uh, sometime, then the markets are great to trade. All right, last, last Friday was, was amazing. We were able to make a lot of money, or at least most of us, I presume. Um, so wait for that, all right? Be cautious of this being uh, bullish momentum in choppy markets, because that could still happen. And that's what I think you need to prepare most for. Um, so be cautious for that, but be prepared for the breakout and the momentum. And I'll keep you updated on that, of course, uh, in my middle of the day market update. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all in my next videos.